All right, so Scorpio, we're going to do your reading today. Hello, everyone. Welcome to my channel. Um, keep in mind that this will not resonate for every Scorpio. If you'd like a personal reading, that's going to be the first link in the description down below. And while we're talking about the description there, you will find my website, you will find my Etsy shop, where you'll find my Oracle cards here and other things on there, my shirt store, different social media platforms I'm on, even Twitch and Patreon. We will be on Twitch every Sunday, so make sure you follow. That's really going to help grow things. And Patreon for extra content. All that's in the description down below. And if you'd like to donate to the channel, feel free to do so. Okay, so we have Temperance, which is Sagittarius. Two of Swords. The Ace of Swords. The Five of Swords. We have the Death card, which is your own card. The Queen of Pentacles, which is Earth. The Seven of Cups. The Four of Swords. Nine of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles. We have the Six of Cups. Number 29, the Phoenix. Resurrection, surrender to change. Number 39, the number 9 must be important. Preparation, prayer, sacred ritual. Number 28, the Ice Queen. Ideas preserved, non-action, entitlement. Number 47, trust. Number six, the Grail Knight. Romance, illusion, seeking the sacred. Ooh, Scorpio. And number 38, protection. I don't know where to put that. I don't even think. Yeah, you can't even see that. So, I don't know. We have number 23, the Serpent. Knowledge, healing. Boundaries. Strength. New beginning. Reconciliation, closure in reverse, psychic abilities, spirit guide, number 31, beauty and the beast, unconditional love, number 19, fairy tales, letting go, detachment, moving on. Number 20, the littlest fairy. Appreciate the beauty and value of the exquisite and small. Number 18, scared to fly. The right moment, sensing out the right timing. Number 30, far, far away. Creative daydreaming. Number 25, the grail fairy. Fertility, the return of life, health, life cycles. Number 17, with action. Number 40, Sixth Chakra, Archangel Metatron. Number 27. And number 7 must be important here as well. Look how many times it's popped up. Walking away. Number 50, Angel of Strength. Number 46, The Thinking Man. Number 41, Seventh Chakra, Archangel Uriel. Number 49, Angel of Love. Number 1, Earth Magic. Number 30, which I think we've seen that earlier, Shining Through. Number 46, The Uncharted Sea. 47, Sacred Reverence, which is the second time we've seen that number, 47. Walk with Wings. Unity. Nature of the Beast. Number 48, The Game Changer. Number 47, once again, The Angel. Number 46, The Visionary. Number 40, Long Night Moon with Darkness. Number 1, Dark Moon, The Void. 
Number 19 once again. Waiting Gibius. Number 3, Balance. Number 39, Beaver Moon with Creation. Number 18, Waiting Gibius. Number 2, with Pleasure. All right, Scorpio, and on the bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Wands. Scorpio, look at your crazy reading here. All right, so first off, important numbers, 47, 19, 9, sevens, probably something else I can't remember, but that's what has stuck out to me so far. Um, <laughs> Scorpio, what it feels like here is you have a Sagittarius, right? Temperance. Okay. This is a person that you've had conflict with before in the past. It's been on break for a while. I see you questioning on when not to reach out to them or to kind of do your own thing, leave them alone. But I see the overall outcome is reaching out to them. Because I think this is a person that's meant to be in your life in some way. Six of Cups, that's a soulmate there. Okay. Now let's get into more of your cards here. It's like you've both been expecting each other here. All right. Now let's get more into your cards here. Let's just lay them out over the tarot. Just to kind of get a better understanding. Oh yeah, and the number six. So. You are going to have a reconciliation with this person. Remember reconciliation, new beginning. I do see a return of this person here. Okay. And it's, it, you, you're very, this is a very weird reading. Okay, remember that Beauty and the Beast card? It's like one of you is like the beauty, and then that, the other one is like the beast. We have another card of Nature of the Beast here. Okay. And this person's quite weird themselves. The Altar Priestess, and we have the Angel. So they're quite connected. They're like a very mystical person here. Even maybe like an Earth Angel or something. Okay. Something magical, or they do magic themselves, whatever. We have a lot of angels surrounding you both here. Okay, what I also see, like, I see there being a lack of closure between you two. And I feel like that's why there's a return, but then it turns into more than just that. Okay, the Grail Knight romance, trust, action. There's about the action taking place. I see, I feel like you're going to end up being the one that ends up taking action first here. Okay, look at this. This feels like a small person here to keep showing up as a fairy. The littlest fairy, okay, on top of that. But yeah, I see there... There's like someone else that you're letting go of, or the idea of someone else that you're letting go of. Walking away, fairy tales. Okay, but you're about to have unconditional love with this person anyways, this Sag that we're talking about. So that that's not even in the question, but I see this, this Sag that we're talking about here, with psychic abilities. You're being guided towards them for a reason. See that you set up boundaries here, okay, with the boundaries card. But I do see you having a new beginning with this person here. Okay. There's a resurrection of this connection. You're just kind of like going into the unknown territory with them. Which is not really in a bad way. But I feel like they're they're shining more of themselves through. And this is in a positive way, Scorpio. Okay. So they're, they're kind of like being more of themselves towards you, I guess. Um... Yeah. It's just very, like, angel of strength, strength. Walk with wings. Beauty and the Beast. You guys have, like, this complimentary towards each other, okay? Where you really compliment one another. Alright, you're different, but you kind of, like, complete each other in the same way. Okay. That is what I see happening. I see you having a new beginning with this person. You're being guided back towards them for a reason. I feel like that's because this person's meant to be in your life. Okay? So. That is all I have for you. And like I said, 
first link in the description down below for a personal reading. And if you want to see more content, don't forget to subscribe. Bye, guys.